Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hi, it's me Hamzan Anwar and you're watching Compete Education Pakistan. Today we are going to do the part 4 of Unit 8, Peace for Class 10, English, FBISE. So let's start. Gerund phrase. A gerund phrase includes the gerund and the object of the gerund or any modifiers related to the gerund. In the following example, gerund is bold and gerund phrase is underlined. The student gathered signatures for increasing the hours of the library. Infinitive phrase. The infinitive phrase includes infinitive and the object of the infinitive or any modifiers related to the infinitive. In the following example, the infinitive is bold and the infinitive phrase is underlined. Every cricket team has a captain to direct the other players. To direct is the infinitive and the infinitive phrase is the other players. Prepositional phrase. The prepositional phrase includes the preposition and the object of the preposition or any modifiers related to the preposition. In the following example, the preposition is bold and the prepositional phrase is underlined. Samra could hear her sister snoring across the room. Identify gerund phrases, infinitive phrases and prepositional phrases in the following sentences. Maria fell over the cat. Number uh, C. Prepositional phrase. The strikers held a meeting to discuss the terms of employers. A. Infinitive phrase. After learning the parts of speech, the class began studying punctuation. A. Infinitive phrase. Will someone be here soon to open the door? A. Infinitive phrase. Talha visited Turkey while studying the history of Turkish art. Prepositional phrase. Before putting too much effort into the project, you should get some guidance from your boss. B. Gerund phrase. Does the captain want us to lower the sails before we enter the harbor? A. Infinitive phrase. Stress patterns, use of weak forms, stress placement and timing. First, you need to understand which words are generally stressed and which are not stressed. Content words. Basically, stress words are considered content words. For example, nouns, kitchen or ali, most, most uh, verbs, visit, construct, adjectives, beautiful, interesting, adverbs, often, carefully, function words. Non-stressed words are considered function words, examples, determiners, the, a, some, a few, Auxiliary verbs, don't, am, can, were, prepositions, before, next to, opposite, conjunctions, for example, but, while, as, pronouns, they, she, us. The same sentence can take on different meanings depending on where the speaker chooses, chooses to play the primary stress. Example, I'm not going. I'm not going, one meaning, not me, perhaps you, she or he. I am not going. Second meaning, I refuse to go. I am not going. Number third, I am not going. I am coming back. Make pairs and practice the following dialogue, uh, uh, following appropriate stress and intonation. A. Will you look at this form? Are you having problems with it? I don't understand some things. Let me help you. What does MMDDYY mean? That means month, day, year. Use numbers. I don't understand. For example, if your birth date is January 12, 1987, write 01-12-87. Oh, that's simple enough. Thank you. Writing skills. What is the central idea of this poem? Main idea. Wind in the form of a storm smashes everything. In its rage, it destroys trees, fields and buildings. But when the wind is gentle and cool, it gives lives to buds, birds and humans. We have to experience storms to enjoy peace. Paraphrase the stanzas of the poem. In this stanza, the poetess describes the negative and destructive aspect of wind. Wind has been personified as a cruel demon. It destroys everything mercilessly. It is thundering and screaming at everything. 
After it has destroyed every man-made structure, it sweeps the broken pieces along. With its unusual power, it shatters the broken pieces along. With its usual power, it shatters everything from valleys and flings the broken pieces around. Stanza 2 In this stanza, the poetess describes the positive and constructive aspects of wind. Wind has been personified as a lover who whispers into the ears of his beloved. The atmosphere is beautiful. The poetess says that what she has described in the preceding stanza is not the reality. The ultimate truth of wind lies, in fact, in its gentleness and peace. Its calmness makes everything look lovely. It imparts a sweet sensation to every beautiful thing. The sunny sky looks blue and cloudless. It guarantees serene and tranquil atmosphere. Only the mild and faint whispers of breeze can be heard somewhere in the distance. Write a summary of the poem. Summary Peace is a metaphorical poem in which Dr. Sylvia Hartman describes the destructive and peaceful nature of the wind side by side. The wind is furious in the form of a storm and destroys everything around. The poet describes that it is not the only face of the wind. The wind usually remains calm and peaceful under the bright blue sky. This side of natural phenomena fills our lives with real joy, goodness and peace. Instead of encourage the evil side of the wind, we should appreciate peace, love and benevolence. The nature of wind to act differently teaches us a lesson of life that humans have to experience storms to achieve peace. So that is it for today's session. Subscribe to our channel Compete Education Pakistan. Like this video if you enjoyed, press the bell icon so you can get our latest notifications. Allah Hafiz.